Good day everyone. This is Marco Antony Balangueres from Biped 2D. For this video, I am going to answer the activity given by group 4, which is to give an example to perceptual motor abilities and physical proficiency abilities. Okay, let's start. Multi-limb coordination. So for this ability, I've chose dancing. Yan. Ano nga bang multi-limb coordination? So this ability uses both limbs or multiple limbs like feet and arms. So in dunking kasi, dunking in basketball, they use the feet to jump and their hands to shoot the ball or to dunk the ball. So that's why it is an example of multi-limb coordination. Next ability we have control precision. So when we say control precision, you should know how to control the attack or the speed of your action or attack in order for you to know or to measure, to measure the capacity of winning. So for this, for this, I give the example which is shooting in archery. Yan. Di ba kasi sa shooting in archery, kapag titira ka sa ar archery, kailangan alam mong i-measure or i-control yung minat ng tali sa bow para makontrol mo din yung speed para speed to hit the middle of the target. Okay. Next abilities we have response orientation. So when you say response orientation, it is your ability na mag-respond sa mga attacks ng kalaban. This ability I've chosen badminton or receiving in badminton. Why badminton? Yan. Di ba kasi sa badminton, kapag nag-serve yung kalaban, you should know how to respond to it in order, in order for you to succeed na maibalik yung shuttlecock. Next ability was reaction time. So, in reaction time, pag sinabing reaction time, from the word itself, react. So, we should know how to react or respond to that time in using the ability. So, for this, I've chose hockey. Yan. In hockey kasi, di ba, it is held in ice. So, madulas yung floor. So, we should know how to manage our time in order to succeed or goal Yan, or to make a score. Next is rate control. So, for this, I've chose dancing. Yan. Kasi pag sinabi ng rate control, we should know how to control the rate of the of the ability or the, or the skill. So, why dancing? Bakit ko piniling dancing ang example ng rate control? Yan. So, because in dancing, there is a music. So, and that music, may iba't ibang genre ng music at may iba't ibang beat ito. So, in rate control, we should know how to dance depend on the beat. Next is manual dexterity. So when we say manual dexterity from the word itself, manual, yan, ginagamitan ng katawan natin or yan body movement. So for this, so for this, I choose cycling, yan. So, ang cycling device is ginagamitan siya ng paa para maigalaw yung bike or madrive yung bike. So, that's why it is a good example of manual dexterity. So, next we have finger dexterity. So, for this, I gave an example which is typing in keyboard. Yan. Diba sa typing in keyboard, ang gumagalaw lang is yung ating mga finger which is it is a type or, or example of finger dexterity kasi ginagamitan ito ng ability or ng skill or ng lakas ng gagaling sa finger ng tao. Next is wrist finger speed. Yan. So in wrist finger speed, it is all about the wrist of our finger. So ang pinili ko example dito is playing guitar. Yan. Di ba pag nag-play tayo ng guitar, we have this hand or we have this posture. Yung kamay daliri natin is gumagalaw to sa end ng guitar to to control the the rhythm of the guitar and it includes speed yan nakadepende rin yun sa music you should know how to depend on the music in playing guitar merong mga nakadepende sa music which is it makes a good example of wrist finger speed next example we have aiming yan in aiming from the word itself aim may meron kang tina target so for the example i gave to this ability was batting in baseball. Yan. So, alam natin ang batting in baseball, we have the ball to bat. Meaning, we have, meron tayong bola sa baseball na ini-aim nating tamaan. Okay. 
Next ability is explosive strength. Yan. So when we say explosive, it's strength. It uses huge amount of strength. For, the ex for an example, I give sumo wrestling. Yan. We all know that sumo wrestling was played with two big person. Meaning, and it is played to push one another to win the competition. So that's why it uses huge amount of strength to win the competition. Next is static strength. So, for this ability, I've chose side bridge. Why? Because you need to exert force from your arm against the body in stationary position. For the next ability, we have dynamic strength. So, for this, I've chose jumping junk. So, when we say dynamic, it is the repeated use of strength or steps. In jumping jack, we jump repeatedly while swaying our arms. Meaning, we are doing the same steps or the same routine and exert the same energy. Next ability, we have trunk strength. So, when we say trunk strength, it is all about the strength in our trunk. So, for the example of this, we have curl up. Yeah. Because when we say curl up, it is the use of a huge amount of strength coming up from the abdomen or from the trunk. That's why it's a good example of trunk strength. Next, we have extent flexibility. flexibility. Yeah. For this ability, I've chose ball ballet dancing. Yeah. We all know that ballet dancing uses the flexible moves in extent way. Yeah. Kailangan huge yung, um, huge yung capacity ng galaw in ballet dancing. That's why it is used an example of extent flexibility. Next, we have dynamic flexibility. Yan, sabi ko kanina, dy dynamic is a repeated step, repeated use of energy. The same energy rather. Yan. Pero pag sinabi naman natin dynamic flexibility, it is the repeated use of flexibility or, fle of, or flexible ability. The example was lunch. So, lunch is an exercise using flexibility. And you can't exercise lunch once. So, you need to do it repeatedly in order to develop your flexibility. Next, we have gross body equilibrium. So, in this, we should, in this type of ability, we should know how to balance ourselves without falling. And for this, I give an example which is headstand. So, headstand is a good example of this ability because in headstand, you're only using your head in order to stay standing. Next is balance with visual views. So, for this one, I've chose contemporary dancing. So, we all know that contemporary dancing uses balancing in order to execute the prop execute the steps properly and the visual views should be maintained in order for us to deliver the message of the dance. Next, we have speed or limb movement. So, in this type of ability, I've chose job in boxing. Why? Because in job, in using job skill in boxing, we should apply speed or limb movement in this kind of skill. Next, we have gross body coordination. Yan. In gross body coordination, we should know how to coordinate the movement from the hands hanggang sa ating mga paa. Yan. For this, I've chose gymnastic with apparatus. Yan. Because in gymnastic, using an apparatus, we should know how to apply or execute the step properly in gymnastic with the use of apparatus. And for the next and last ability, we have stamina. For this ability, I've chose swimming. Yan. So in swimming, it doesn't just develop our limbs, but it, it is also it also develop our stamina. Yan. So how how does the swimming develop stamina? So whenever we are doing swimming or doing the same action repeatedly we could develop the stamina of our body. Why? Because swimming was held in water so, and the force used in swimming is not the same or doesn't the same, wasn't the same in the strength used in land.